Okay, check this out. This is where we're going to get even a little bit deeper. I haven't even posted this yet. All right, this is set to come out. This is a retreat that's coming out. The fifth annual Chapman House Gathering for Leaders and Professionals in FinTech will take place in the historic Golden Gate Club in San Francisco, California. Look who's attending. You Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another CyperX video banger. In today's video breakdown, we're going to be discussing and talking about how deeply embedded Ripple is with this new financial infrastructure and how the digital asset XRP is going to be utilized for a fact in the future. And they are literally telling you all this via the information that is readily available to each and every single one of you all through your fingertips if you choose to do the research. In today's video breakdown, I'm gonna hopefully bring this information to light to you all. Again, do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you enjoy these deep video breakdowns. This is all research, okay? This is not me providing hopium for you all. This is all information and facts that you all can go check. So in previous video breakdowns, if you have not seen us discuss and talk about where Ripple is literally building the new financial infrastructure, go back and watch the infrastructure video breakdown that we posted on YouTube. We mentioned and talked about how they are confirming that what will actually drive the efficiency and effectiveness of utilizing these blockchain protocols is by utilizing the digital asset that is connected. So for example, you know, utilizing XRP, the digital asset, eventually once regulatory clarity and regulatory frameworks are fully implemented, bank and financial institutions know for a fact that using these digital assets is what will truly allow them to scale this new technology. Okay, we've confirmed all that. If you're new here, you're new to this channel, go back and watch those previous video breakdowns. I don't want to beat a dead horse. Let me show you all what they're building, okay? They're literally building a new global financial system and they, they are telling you all this, okay? So check this out. ACI Worldwide. A lot of people say they're not talking about directly the, the digital asset XRP. No, they are. Let me show you. So I posted this on the Twitter space or the X space just a couple of days ago. ACI Worldwide, which is a Ripple partner, Ripple ISO 222 compliant. We know that, okay? And then Mexico, piecing all those things together, we see ACI Worldwide recently announcing a partnership with FinTech MexiPay to deploy ISO 222 compliant real-time payments and other payment services in Mexico. Here is that PDF right here with payments intelligence and the clearinghouse from January, 2024, the real-time payments world map. Here you can see Mexico, for instance, is letting the free market take the lead. ACI Worldwide recently announced a partnership with FinTech MexiPay to deploy ISO 222 compliant real-time payments and other payment services in where? Mexico. Pay attention. That's going to be a key aspect of this. Now, if we go, first off, we can see here, this article is from April 10th, 2023. Ripple payment corridor between where? U.S. and Mexico sees an increase of billions due to what? XRP technology. This is from 2023 in April. So this is less than a year ago this article came out, all right? Now let's go over to ACI Worldwide directly on their website. Okay, this is aciworldwide.com. ACI Worldwide, you can see at the top. And if we scroll right down here on this fundamental piece, it says, banks usually keep foreign currency reserves in what are called Nostro accounts in order to be ready to fulfill a cross-border payment. According to R3, this practice essentially forces banks to trap capital. The digital currency XRP, which offers settlement speeds as fast as five seconds, Bitcoin can take up to 10 minutes. So they literally on Bitcoin right there on ACI Worldwide webpage, offers banks an alternative. The trial, which was successful, demonstrated that banks could make markets for fiat currencies using the digital asset XRP in the Ripple network. Complete authenticated payments without multiple Nostro accounts, enabling them to cut costs and develop additional revenue opportunities. Literally on the ACI website, you all see that, right? They're talking about XRP. You guys, I'm not making this up. It's right there, okay? So now let's go even further. Do you all remember this post on a Ripple's LinkedIn profile of this individual from Ripple discussing and talking about how the digital asset XRP can be utilized as a bridge currency. Take a second and listen. Use the quote, approves it, and then submits payment instructions. A digital asset acts as a bridge currency moving from the UK to the Philippines. It is then converted to local currency through Ripple's global partner network. The recipient then receives the exact amount quoted to them in Philippine pesos in real time. It's that simple. And when you're ready to scale to new corridors, Ripple's global payout network provides access to key markets and currencies, including many that were traditionally difficult to reach. 
So if we head over on the LinkedIn profile and we click this link, we can see right here, this is the link that it takes you to. And what do we see right here? XRP being the bridge asset currency from US dollars to Mexican peso. We know XRP ISO 222 compliant along with Ripple. And what did ACI Worldwide just do? People, you all seeing what I'm seeing right now, okay? They just joined in 2024. ACI Worldwide recently announced a partnership with FinTech Macy Pay to deploy ISO 222 compliant real-time payments to where? Mexico. You see? So, Pay attention to what's happening. This is going to take time. They're not fully utilizing these digital assets yet, but they're building the financial infrastructure in order to do so. Who is ACI Worldwide, if you're not too familiar? They are the global leader in mission-critical real-time payment software, okay? And here it says, this is an article from, the, from March 9, 2022. Today announced its future in the Federal Reserve new FedNow service provider showcase. What I want to show you all is that they are, in fact, a member of the Faster Payments Council from the Federal Reserve, right? So you see right here, this is their overall company list of the members list from the Faster Payments Council. We have ACI Worldwide. This is from the 1st of August, 2023. So this is updated as well. And if we scroll right down here, we can see Ripple as well on this list, right? So you can't sit here and tell me that they're not connected in some way, shape, or form. Now check this out. It goes even deeper than that. Ripple partner ACI Worldwide teams up with MasterCard to create a new payment solution globally. Remember I told you guys that they're telling you all that they're building a new payment infrastructure. Here it says they're literally building a new payment solution globally. Who? Ripple Partner ACI Worldwide, who we already know is a mission, look at this, mission critical real-time payment software provider, right? Now I'll check this out. Fast forward on MasterCard's website. This is mastercard.com. You can scroll down to the bottom of this article. What do we see? Ripple. Bring greater understanding of benefits and limitations of CBDCs and how to implement them in a way that is safe, seamless, and useful. MasterCard is convening a group of leading blockchain technology and payment service providers to join its new CBDC partner program. MasterCard partnered with Ripple. Again, what did we see before this? ACI Worldwide partnering with MasterCard. Do you all see what they're building? I don't know how people don't freaking see it. And it's because people are manipulated because of the price of the digital asset XRP right now. But what they're not seeing is that this is not going to be fully implemented until a, like literally for a couple of years from now. Uh, and people tend to overestimate these kind of dynamics maybe, uh, you know, in the short term, but then underestimate it in, in the long term, which is, uh, you know, an insight for somebody way smarter than me that I'm sure you, you, you've heard before. Uh, and so it shows like, you know, it manifests, hey, this is working, but at the same time, um, there's still a long ro road ahead to kind of like go from the billions of economic volumes uh, uh, in a year into the trillions, mm -hmm. right? And so, again, it's usability, it's fragmentation of liquidity that's also prevalent in blockchain technology and it's uh, regulatory, like user protection, regulatory compliance. This is all changing hands. I'm not going to sit here and put a timestamp on it. Hopefully it happens before then, but you need to zoom out, people, please. OK, I don't know how else to wake, wake people up, but we're going to go deeper. If this isn't enough for you so far, what I've conveyed again, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe because people are still like, oh, they're not talking about XRP. No, I promise you they are. Remember, the gentleman. OK, check this out. This is where we're going to get even a little bit deeper. I haven't even posted this yet. All right. This is set to come out. This is a retreat that's coming out. The fifth annual Chapman House gathering for leaders and professionals in fintech will take place in the historic Golden Gate Club in San Francisco, California. Look who's attending. You think that this is a freaking coincidence? Fintech Retreat, you can see the dates. This is coming up next week, all right? Look at who's going to be there. We see government agencies, U.S. White House, the NCUA, FBI, people, the freaking FBI? Are you kidding me? U.S. Department of Commerce, the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia, the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, District of Columbia, Japanese Ministry of Defense. We already know how embedded Ripple and XRP is with Japan, okay? And they're going to be there along with the freaking White House, the FBI. You all seeing this? All right, I'm not making this up. Look, who's going to be there? Ripple. Ripple. Visa, right? Okay, Visa, Ripple. All right, moving forward, what did we see just a couple of days ago? In Davos, Ripple was on stage with two of the largest financial players in the world, Visa and the Bank of International Settlements, talking about what? The next phase for cross-border payments. Eric Van Miltenberg. SVP strategic, strategic initiatives at Ripple. Do you all remember five years ago what he said? Now, banks are regulated conservative and they're not yet embracing digital currency. And they're not yet embracing digital currency. So the Ripple software works fiat to fiat. You don't need to send 
digital currency around. You can send US dollars to Japanese yen, et cetera, et cetera. But kind of the secret sauce or taking it to the next level is by leveraging a digital asset to make that transaction much more efficient. So they already know these banking institutions can use the Ripple network right now without utilizing the digital asset XRP. They know that that's what's going to give them the ability to truly scale this technology. OK, and even on the ACI website, OK, they confirm that. All right. They confirm that the digital asset XRP offers settlement speeds as fast as five seconds and gives banks an alternative. Let me further provide proof for you all. So do you all remember this article that I posted to you guys from the Ripple website? OK, we go up, scroll up to the top. Let me show you that they are talking about the digital asset XRP. Remember, we started all this with ACI Worldwide. Recently announcing a partnership with FinTech MexiPay to deploy ISO 222 real-time payment systems in Mexico, right? We know, we covered just now, right? The Clearinghouse, we covered ACI Worldwide, we covered Ripple, partnered with ACI Worldwide, partnered with MasterCard, partnered with Ripple. And then looking over here, okay, even further, seeing that Federal Reserve partnered with ACI Worldwide, ACI Worldwide on Fed pa uh, Fast Payments Council along with Ripple. Are you all seeing, like, am I piecing this together in a way for you all to easily grip this? And here we see an event coming up with Ripple, the freaking FBI, the freaking Federal Reserve, the freaking White House. Where are the other blockchain-based companies at, people? Where's Stellar at? Okay. Where's anybody else at? Where's Hedera? I'm not crapping on any of those blockchain or distributed ledgers companies, but I'm just saying Ripple is big. Pay attention. It's not some hocus pocus joke and moon boys have crapped all over XRP because they've led you to believe that this is going to happen overnight. This is not going to happen overnight, people. Wake up. Okay, that's the reality of things. They're they're literally restructuring the entire financial infrastructure. And I would say, like, you know, hey, TradFi has recognized this has reached critical mass. It's not going to go away. Crypto is not a fad. And now they're starting to build or co-build the pipes and the plumbing for this to happen in a way. It's not going to go away. Crypto is not a fad. And now they're starting to build or co-build the pipes and the plumbing for this to happen in a way where, you know, regulatory compliance is given, where billion dollar fi uh, family office can uh, lean into it and, and really adopt it. And so if you can't see that, I don't, you know, come on now, let's do this together. Let's wake up. We're at the bottom of the totem pole and we can rise to the top with this massive transfer of wealth that's about to take place. OK, I'm hopefully motivating you all to get involved, to open up some of these documents and do this research. January 2nd, 2024. This is recent, okay? Just a couple of days ago. Now look at this. A new guide published by Ripple, Accelerating Global Payments for Your IT Service Business, explores how international IT service providers can use blockchain-based payments to overcome these challenges and even turn a burdensome operational function into a competitive advantage. Remember the gentleman, okay? Eric, what's his name again? Eric Van Meltenberg, what he said five years ago, digital assets will be utilized as a secret sauce. But kind of the secret sauce or taking it to the next level is by leveraging a digital asset to make that transaction much more efficient. And look at this. They're mentioning will give the companies a competitive advantage. The guide details key benefits of blockchain powered payments and breaks down how Ripple payments, this is highlighted in blue and is it gives you a clickable link an enterprise payment solution can bridge, look at this, can bridge two currencies in three seconds with one fixed FX rate. Now, if you click this link right here, okay, this is the page that opens up, right? It's this lady. And what is this lady explaining to you all? Again, a digital asset acts as a bridge currency moving from the UK to the Philippines. It is then converted to local currency through Ripple's global partner network. Remember, enterprise payment solution gives companies a competitive advantage and can bridge two currencies in three seconds with one fixed FX rate. And when you click on the link, this is what opens up. And it's this lady talking about how the utilization of the digital asset XRP bridges two currencies. You, they're talking about XRP people. People will be like, oh, they're not talking about using XRP. No, they are talking about using XRP. I would say it's still, uh, you know, I'm for the risk of repeating myself a little bit. It's like regulatory compliance. Um, it's like, hey, how seamless is the user experience with this stuff? Um, and so, look, Ripple's DNA since pretty much the beginning has been about how can we make this technology matter today in the real economy and not just somewhere in an isolated crypto world, so to speak. 
And so we had to abstract away some of the complexities of blockchain technology, but also use elements of intermediation, right? And so combining elements of like CFI and DeFi, if you will, to offer something that works today, that is regulatory compliant. And uh, here we are, we're facilitating billions of dollars of payments every year in a matter of seconds to hundreds of customers um, in 70 markets uh, globally instead of days before, right? And the secret sauce is really kind of the secret sauce or taking it to the next level is by leveraging a digital asset. Before, right? And the secret sauce is really the underlying technology, which is, uh, in our case, the XRP Ledger. And they have proven that it works. To offer something that works today, that is regulatory compliant. And uh, here we are, we're facilitating billions of dollars of payments every year in a matter of seconds to hundreds of customers um, in 70 markets. Okay, it's just now a matter of regulations coming into fruition. And when regulations are here, no matter how long they take, they are coming. They are coming. Highly reputable individuals like the managing director of the IMF have confirmed that, that crypto is not going away and that regulations are not here to crush digital assets. They're here to support innovation. Takes us to look into the future. We must consider the effects if crypto assets become widespread. The scenario is not far-fledged. They may. For one, they are certainly not going away. These rules are not meant to return us to the pre-crypto world, nor to squash innovation. Now, back to this fundamental piece to again show you that they are talking about the digital asset XRP. We scroll even further down here, where again, they mention Ripple payments and give you a clickable link. Delivered radical transparency for every cross-border transaction with upfront pricing and FX quotes. 360 degree visibility throughout a payment and detailed payment data for reconciliation. Companies can use Ripple to improve their partner and customer experience while gaining a significant, again, a reiterate competitive advantage. Ultimately, IT service companies that recognize the critical cross-border transactions play in growing their business can use, again, Ripple payments to leapfrog the limitations of outmodeled legacy payment providers. And when you click the link, it then again takes you back to this website page or link right here from this lady discussing and talking about the utilization of the digital asset XRP as a bridge currency. Okay. I hope that you all are seeing what I'm seeing because sleeping on this opportunity in the now, even if it takes another year, even if it takes another two years, crap, even if it takes another five years, it is going to be monumental when it finally takes off. We're not here at CyperX to put a timestamp on it. And we're not here to give you price predictions. We're here to show you the potential possibilities. And the potential possibility is that these banking institutions will most likely, due to, again, the strategic advantage that this technology has to offer, will most likely adopt these digital assets. Okay, And we have proof from systemically important organizations and people sitting in on these panel discussions telling you all this stuff. Institutions will adopt these digital assets. The point that things may not be in the financial world on the basis that two of the four panelists are from technology companies and not from financial companies. So I think tokenization is very much, you will see a shift away from the financial world in the, in the TradFi kind of inverted commas, if you like, um, to be much more technology orientated. So I mean, to go back to the, I guess, the original question of the panel, you think that, yeah, where does that answer sit in relation to the question of the panel, I suppose, when we're moving away from traditional finance? Yeah, that you, traditional finance will move towards crypto okay. and, and not the other way around. Okay. It is just a matter of time. It's a matter of regulatory clarity. Once there's regulatory clarity, we will see then a utility-driven bull run and a utility-driven market, in my personal opinion, that is unprecedented. You won't even be able to fathom what's happening because it's going to be monumental. And such a small percentage of the population even exists in this market to participate. You, most likely listening, are one of those individuals. Do not get shaken out. Understand what you hold. Again, look at how much information you would have had to gather. Look at how long this article is. Okay, this is over freaking 500 words, maybe even a thousand words before you even get to the information. Look at this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, where it literally stamps it right in your face that banks have used the digital asset XRP and they've confirmed that it works right down here. They mention R3. We know connections with R3 and Ripple. They even talk about how Bitcoin is too slow. Okay, directly from ACI worldwide. This isn't coming from me. I'm relaying this information via an individual that is a global leader in mission critical real time payment software. Connected with who? The Federal Reserve. 
So I don't even know what else to say. I hope that this shows you guys again how deep the rabbit hole goes, just showing you all the partnerships, showing the interconnected web that Ripple is building and how they are for a fact talking about the digital asset XRP being utilized as a bridge asset for cross-currency transactions, cross-border payments, things of that nature. Many blessings to you guys. If you enjoyed this video breakdown, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the platform, share this video, please wake people up. Again, I get it. It sucks, right? Digital asset XRP, all these bullish moon boy hopium, you know, influencers online got you to think that it was going to be worth a thousand bucks this year, last year, the year before that, and all years before that. But the Ripple representatives that have been sitting in on these panel discussions have never told you that. What have they been telling you? That this is going to take time, that they're rebuilding the new financial infrastructure, that Ripple is involved with the plumbing of the new financial system, that this is going to continue to take a prolonged period of time. So who do you think you should be listening to? Bullish moon boys who are telling you to buy right now that you're going to get rich quick in the next month or two, or zooming out and listening to these Ripple representatives that have interconnected meetings with IMF representatives, with FBI members, with White House members, with Visa representatives, with Federal Reserve representatives telling you that this is going to take a prolonged period of time. Think about it. Uh, and people tend to overestimate these kind of dynamics maybe uh, you know, in the short term but then underestimated in, in the long term. So I think we're, you know, maybe two, three years away from that. And this, Right. Most people are going to get shaken out because they listen to false narratives and they don't zoom out and see the long-term perspective on how massive this truly is. Mm -hmm.